Hi everyone, Eva here. Welcome to another video. I am so happy, so excited that you tuned in to me today. If you're new to this channel, my name is Eva. I have a, a, a bunch of new subscribers, so thank you so much. I'm so honored that you, that you like me, that you like what I have to say, that you appreciate my message, that you find value in my words. That means the world to me. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I have a short and sweet little video for you. This won't take long, but I do want to discuss moderation and why moderation is complete BS. I do not believe in moderation and I was just reading an article, moderation is key, moderation, uh, eat with moderation, everything with moderation. I just think that is such a bunch of malarkey that is gonna set you up for failure because I too fell into the trap of moderation. Yeah, everything in moderation and look where I ended up. When I, when I ate everything in moderation, I ended up sick uh, diseased, uh, bad acne, bad hormones, uh, all kinds of issues, hair, just I have so many videos about all the things that were wrong with me and I got there through moderation. I was very moderate in what I ate and so yeah I don't believe in moderation and let me explain why moderation is complete BS. One of the most important things about being in this lifestyle, the raw vegan lifestyle, the raw foodie lifestyle, if you, that's what you want to call it, is to set up some boundaries. And I sp spoke about this in a recent video, how it's good to have, you know how when you go bowling and uh, for the little kids, there's those little boundaries on the side so the, so the ball doesn't bounce all over the place. I believe the raw vegan lifestyle needs to be a little bit like this. And actually anything you do in life, you really should have some boundaries. You, you, should, you should have some guidelines. You should have some, you're a Lane. That's how you operate. That's your MO. That's your the, your your guide, your map. I don't know what you want to call it, but I have found that it, it is tremendously helpful to have some foods that you just are going to put outside of those boundaries. Whatever those foods are going to be, it's up to you. But for me, foods outside of my boundaries are always going to be meat and dairy. I'm just not going to eat that. And um, I don't know. I think I find it so helpful to not tell yourself, oh, everything in moderation, because there are some things that you should totally break up with if they don't serve you I don't know what your particular what your particular situation is but for me dairy was just so detrimental dairy made me my skin break out made my hair greasy dairy actually stunted my growth I believe because I used to drink my parents forced me to drink so much dairy and look at me I'm 5'3 if that Five, three. And so I think that it's good to put some foods outside that you're just not going to eat in moderation. It's okay to break up with dairy in for, to give you a, an example, it's okay to break up with some foods and move on. Treat it like a bad relationship you were with. Uh, and it, you know how it, sometimes you, you break up with someone and it's, thank goodness that's over, that was a bad relationship, they, they were just not right for you. Okay, so think of some foods like a bad relationship you're in and break up with those foods and don't revisit those foods because you know how they treated you. Don't go back to those foods because you know that you got nothing but bad things from those foods. So again, it's good and important to have some boundaries and to be okay with that to say well I'm not going to eat but, 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 but all these other foods I'm just not they don't serve me they don't work well for me and I you have to be at peace with that and I understand about your comfort you want your comfort and that's why a lot of the times people especially when I coach they don't want to let go of something because they feel that that food is so comforting to them like sugar is like like uh, bread is or like maybe for some people it might be you know candy or sweets or things like this and they feel that or coffee in some instances but if you're really aware that those foods are not serving you just understand like I said that you have to break up with them but most importantly I understand that you don't want to be uncomfortable that you don't want to let go of those foods because no one likes to be uncomfortable but that's how you're going to grow right no one likes to be no one likes to be taken out of their comfort zone no one likes to be no one likes to be challenged but just just understand that what you want is on the other side of that fear what you want is on the other side of that addiction that freedom you're seeking you're never going to find with those foods that are keeping you addicted or they are keeping you you know dependent on them and so being uncomfortable it's just part of the growth process you're gonna have to go through that challenging time through that uncomfortable time of letting go of something that does not serve you in order to grow in order to get to the other side which is where you want to go right you want to you want to be free besides I really want to stress something up and um, 
that what exactly is moderation you know it cracks me up when i speak to people and they tell me well everything in moderation or i should i could do that in moderation what is moderation the government says that one alcoholic drink a day is moderation really one alcoholic unit a day's moderation like that to me is crazy so depending on where you're at and depending on how much you like that food your uh, definition of moderation is going to be different if you're an alcoholic maybe one drink a day is great but if you're an occasional drinker one alcoholic day that's moderation like that that's crazy to me and so depending on how much of that food you eat like some people for me i used to tell this to myself all the time okay well i can have one cheat day a week for my candy and my cookies and my sugars and my can uh, cakes and my brownies and all of the rest um, th that never worked so then I would be like okay one a day one treat a day the moderation moderation that's crazy for some people that would be way too much sugar so depends on where you're at and what you're addicted to and where you are in your journey moderation is a completely different thing so especially with food, yeah, the more you like something, the, the bigger your definition of moderation is going to be. That makes absolute sense. So when people say to me, well, can I eat this in moderation? I'm like, well, it just, it's such a BS term. I hate it. I, I don't think it serves anyone to have, be, to have anything in moderation, like a drug addict. Okay, well, are you gonna eat have drugs in moderation or an alcoholic? Are you gonna, like, again, if you're addicted to certain foods, that moderation is going to set you up for failure. So I hope I have made sense and I didn't want to offend anyone if you are one of those people that uh, subscribe to this notion of moderation. If, if that's working for you, great. I know it never did work for me and I know that was such a huge trap that always set me up for failure, always set me up for for just not doing what I really wanted to do. And I and I said this in one of my other videos, is like strive for what you want most, not for what you want right now. That's that's my motto. That's that's something that I go by in life a lot. Strive for what you want most rather than what you want right now. Because that's that's the long term the, the vision that you have is gonna set you up for success for what you want to do. So again I hope I, I have made a little bit of sense with this. The moderation thing, the debate of moderation, everything in moderation, complete BS in my humble opinion. So I hope you've gotten something out of this video. I appreciate you guys being there. I really appreciate your thumbs up, your subscriptions, your comments if you have anything else to add to this conversation. I really appreciate you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.